Okay, YouTubers and anti-nuke activists, Patrick Penry here, and check this out. Here's an email from the NRC FOIA documents pertaining to Fukushima that proves beyond any doubt uh, many of our nuclear plants are vulnerable to the same the kind of event that happened in Japan. Okay, the subject of this email says seismic and tsunami hazard in PRA. It says the question is, did the Japanese also consider an 8.9 magnitude earthquake and resulting tsunami quote unquote way too low a probability for consideration. Look at GI 199 that's one of their manuals. It shows we didn't know everything about the seismicity of CEUS, the Central Eastern United States. And isn't there a prediction that a west coast is likely to get hit with some huge earthquake in the next 30 years or so? Yet we relicense their plants. Now if you look at this one carefully, let's back up a minute and he says the question is did the Japanese also consider an 8.9 magnitude earthquake and resulting tsunami quote unquote way too low a probability for consideration when he says also that means that we the US guys we we all we did this we said look there's no way there'll be an 8.9 and a tsunami don't even run that in the probability equation forget that the highest we think can ever happen would be a 7.0 or an 8.0 on the eastern continental shelf so Again, they they're making the same mistake. He says, did we all did the Japanese also consider that that was too low of a possibility and thus left themselves vulnerable because they didn't prepare for that magnitude of an earthquake and a resulting tsunami? As this email clearly shows that we're not considering that either, because our guys think it's quote unquote way too low a probability for consideration. Right? Well, now it's already happened once. Do you think it could be possible it could happen again? <clears throat> now, right down here at the bottom, they also are well aware that they're relicensing plants even though there is this, this hazard exists. And now we can say that it's not way too low a probability for consideration because it's already happened at least once, right, with Fukushima. Wow, folks. I, I really, you know, let's take a quick look at, uh, we want to go in, let's have a look at the nuclear plants we got here. And this is from Greenpeace, I think. And look at our eastern seaboard. I mean, just look at that and look, these are high, highly active areas. And right now what's revealed in this particular email is they are not considering a huge, massive earthquake like happened in Fukushima. They say, nah, that's probably never going to happen. Don't even throw that into the equation when we figure out what the chances of, you know, uh, building a nuclear plant here will result in an earthquake and some kind of catastrophic event. So they say they don't factor that in. They say, oh, we can build here. Well, because we're not going to factor in an 8.9. We're just not even going to consider that, even though it's happened once in Fukushima. Folks, I'm telling you right now, let me tell you something. The magnitude of these crimes that are going on with the NRC, with our alphabet agencies, with everyone in on these cover-ups and the conspiracy to hide the true nature of nuclear power, the, the true nature of what's happening in Fukushima, again, I want to stress very clearly, that is of a criminal nature of a very high magnitude. And these people need to be incarcerated at the very least for an extended period of time. And that is my true belief because if you have an ability to save someone and help someone and you do not do that. And, and again, I'm not asking you to jump out into a lake full of crocodiles and rescue someone, right? We're asking you to simply warn people, to give people information, and they will not do that. The very fact they withhold pertinent information from the American public, which causes Americans to lose their lives or become sick, Folks, if you don't understand it, that is a crime of the highest magnitude. Gosh, I, don't, I can't help you. I cannot help you. Now, I show in these documents time and time again how vulnerable we are. And I ask myself, I ask my mom today, is it going to take a meltdown over here, a Fukushima-type catastrophic East Coast meltdown, because that's where it's going to be. And I've already predicted within five years we're going to have it. Right, and I've already showed you these are sitting duck terrorist targets big time. They even admit that. I showed you the FOIA email where the guy says all these Japanese plants are sitting ducks for a terrorist attack. Right in the email. They all know it. Everybody knows it but the American public, right? So crimes of a high magnitude are being committed on a regular basis. They are endangering our lives and jeopardizing our lives, and yet they talk about national security and expect us to take them seriously. Again, I, I, I continue to put this in the mind of the American public, this phrase, and I will continue to repeat it until my last breath or up until such time as it, this event actually unfolds. And that would be sweeping mass arrests on an unprecedented scale. Alphabet agencies, industry, politicians, 
all across the board. We know who they are. The propagandists on the TV at night. We know who the conspirators are. And you know what? There's a saying that those who created our problems will not be the ones to fix them. You really should, I, I, I beseech you to consider that. Consider that particular contention that all the people in power now who are the ones who created all the problems we now have, there's no way they're going to fix them. They want to perpetuate this because they're profiting from the chaos. They're profiting from disaster. We have to have them arrested. They must be jailed. They'll be charged by the book. You're all charged with treason is what I would charge you with. And I can easily make the case that you're disloyal to the American public. End of story. Okay, I've gone on too long, but when you look at what I'm, the email I'm showing you here and the damned magnitude and series of this, folks... I, let's not let it happen here in the United States. It's bad enough Fukushima is going to rain down on us for how long? Hundreds of years? Thousands of years? Do we have to have a meltdown over here of that size? Seriously, is that what it's going to take for Americans to figure out how damn dangerous nuclear power is? Combine that with the thousands of suppressed patents, thousands of suppressed inventions for alternative and new energy. Hey, they're forcing this on us, and it's killing us, and it's killing us. All right? Okay, folks, six minutes. I just wanted to clear this one up today, and... I'm off to do what I do, over and out. Uh, we need to get subscribed and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I say, go to the remix button, hit the remix button, that way you'll have this video and, and keep up with this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube's just going to control us, guys, and it's, it's really bad.